Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here representing PPC Course, and I want to answer a question about quality scores, specifically about when do quality scores show up in an account, how does it look on a new campaign, and just answer a user question about quality scores, because they are a tricky beast, and I'm going to do my best to explain them to you in this video. So if you're curious about quality scores, or if you've had problems viewing them in the past, you're going to want to watch this video. We're going to show you exactly how to understand the elusive quality score display. So what do you do when your Google AdWords quality scores are not showing up on the screen? Now, one of the killer features of Google AdWords is quality scores. If you have good quality scores, it works like a discount on clicks. But if you have bad quality scores, it works the opposite. It's like a tax on your clicks. And here's a great visual that shows you how quality scores influence your click costs. This study from WordStream shows you that if you have a quality score of 10, then you discount your ads, then your CPCs are discounted by 50%. Yet if you have a quality score of one, then your CPCs are increased by 400%. So obviously you get taxed if you're not doing very well and you get a nice little discount if you are doing great with your quality scores. But quality scores are not always a transparent thing with Google AdWords and sometimes it's difficult to really understand what's going on with them. Now I did create a video to show you how you can map out your own quality scores and show you how it impacts things like cost per conversion, the ad copy you write, and just make an informed decision as to whether or not you should focus on quality scores, click through rates, conversions, how much faith you should put into all this stuff. So I would encourage you to check out the video linked below just so you can see that. That's going to give you some good insights, but as we round up this video, I want to talk about how quality scores are confusing. Not just confusing, but how they're inconsistent and how they can really throw you for a loop as you're learning AdWords. And even if you've been doing AdWords for 10 plus years, quality scores are as confusing today as they've ever been. So here's Google's definition of quality scores. It's an estimate as to how relevant your ads, keywords, and landing page are to a person who sees your ad. Higher quality scores typically lead to lower cost and better ad positions. Okay, cool. The ad discounter, ad rank, all these things that we know about and that we learn about in PPC course, it applies right here to quality scores. But here's the deal. Google keeps on changing them. Google keeps on burying quality scores from your display. They give you information. They take away that information. Basically, Google gives transparency and then Google taketh. Google takes the transparency away. And this is especially true in the new AdWords interface. Google has made many changes over the years to quality scores. They add things, they take things away. They can't seem to make up their mind as to whether or not they want us to have quality scores or they don't. They've even taken down the Hale Varian video from the internet that shows us how quality scores and ad rank and the ad discounter work. So what's your problem, Google? What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? I don't actually know the answer to that. I'm just venting a little bit. So if anybody at Google actually watches these videos and wants to get back to me as to like, what's your deal? I'd love that, please do. Get back to me, it will be in private. I won't put it on the record unless you want me to, but you probably don't because I'm complaining and so you don't wanna deal with your complainers. I'm trying not to be a troll or anything like that. I'm just like, I'm just genuinely curious. Why don't you want us to have quality scores? What's your problem? Like you make this thing, don't even make quality scores. If you don't want us to know what we should be doing, if you don't want us to know how to fix these things, how to make better ads, don't tell us about it. Just have us be in the dark because then at least we, don't have like something that's really cool, like quality scores, then it doesn't go away. All right, end of rant. So Google made a major change to the way that they do quality scores in November of 2016. If you have a new keyword, or if your keyword is low activity, and I'm doing the air quotes on the other side of this thing, you can't see me because I'm not on screen, but I'm doing air quotes, low activity, then they're not gonna display a quality score at all. They used to display a quality score of six by default, now you're getting nothing. Okay, that happened in 2016. And that's why people don't see quality scores when they're first starting out or if they have new keywords that they're adding to their account. And then they said in 2017, okay, well, we took away quality scores for new keywords, but we're gonna give you better reporting. And it's all about this and that, and you get these cool columns. And they said, here's the new seven columns you get in keyword reporting. And of course, I couldn't take a screenshot of those columns because they're no longer there. The image vanished from the internet. So Google giveth. Google taketh. And I don't know if this is something you can even do right now, but that article that's not even a year old at the time that I record this, gone, vanished from the face of the earth. 
but they do have a help article that talks about the difference between quality scores and checking them and the new interface versus the previous interface. You might be able to get some transparent data if you go into the previous interface, but we don't know how long that's gonna be around. We don't really know what to do. And frankly, I would rather teach people how things are gonna be in the new interface than to really worry about the old one. Now the old one actually has some cool features in it. I wouldn't say never go back to the old one, especially if you've been using AdWords for a long time, but I wanna do these videos moving forward to where things are gonna be in the future. And the future is still far off because the Google AdWords interface is incomplete. So Bethany, a PPC course student asks, I went live with my campaigns. I have keywords, I have the quality score column activated and it's just showing blanks for everything. Does it take time to show up? That's a really good question. Obviously the search engine land article we linked to earlier shows us that Google's gonna give us null for new keywords and low volume, but at what point do they get the volume that we get to see something? Let's take a look inside of AdWords and let's look at a mature account that's been around for a long time. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna look at Google AdWords Editor. So I try to download all my quality scores into AdWords Editor using the methods that Google tells us to do right inside of their support documents and I am getting no quality scores whatsoever. I'm getting estimated first page bids. I'm getting all these different estimates out there. I'm getting no quality scores. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting no quality scores. Even if I download statistics and the more data, nothing's happening. But if I go into the interface and I look at the same account, I do see quality scores in there for the majority of my keywords. I say some quality scores. You see the first one is actually blank, but the other ones do show quality scores. And if you look at the data, this is super curious. The quality score is four out of 10 for the one that is a 28% click-through rate and five out of 10 for 16% click-through rate. Ironic, crazy, confusing. This is why I rant. This is why I got so mad at the beginning of this video because it's like, why? Why is this? This makes no sense at all. Is it just completely algorithm driven? And there's just like nobody with common sense involved at this company that says, oh, if it's this high, then it's then the quality score should be higher. Or is there more to it? And I will come up with a conclusion at the end of this video, but I wanted to continue my rant as we talk about it. So Google did tell us that we're gonna get some null quality scores for new keywords and for low volume keywords. Okay, cool. So you need to have patience for your new keywords, but I wouldn't hold your breath for low volume. And here's why. This thing is telling me that my most click through, the highest impression, the most clicks, the highest cost keyword that I have in this account has low volume. Even though stuff with much lower volume with no clicks at all has a quality score coming in. It's like, what? What's up with that? So Google's quality score is lacking. And we can blame it on the new interface, but I don't know if it has anything to do with that or not. Or if they're just choosing not to do it, or if it's an algorithm and there's no human interaction, I'm not sure. I don't really know what's happening, but it's lacking. I can say that part definitively. So we need to do our best with the data that we have. And we shouldn't rely just on quality score. Google did put an announcement out that they have all these other things available to us. So let's add those columns. So there are different quality score columns in the new interface you can add. Quality score, expected CTR, ad relevance, and landing page experience. So for the same account, the same keywords and everything, I'm adding those columns as well. And this is in the new interface. So you can see here, expected CTR, ad relevance, landing page experience. Now, what comes to your mind here? The 28% click-through rate ad, that's a four out of 10. It's average for relevance, it's average for landing page. Oh, the expected click-through rate should be higher. It's below average. What the heck do they expect? What kind of click-through rate do they expect for these ads? We're at 28%, they want 60%, they want 70%. This is insane. So we have a low quality score because of the expected click-through rate and it's like, okay, well, I guess we need to upgrade it. We need to make a better ad. We need to try things, move things around. Maybe they're just weird about the display, but quality score, this is what happens. You could be doing everything well. You could be doing everything great. And Google can still bury you. Maybe it's because the average position is 3.0. Although if it's in the third position and we're getting almost a third of the clicks, like what could be better than that? That's amazing. I'm in love with that click through rate. I'm amazed by it. How the heck is that below average? Tell me in the comments if you know. If I'm looking at something the wrong way, let me know in the comments, I'd love to know that. But this is confusing. And even with more information, sometimes it becomes even more confusing. 
But at least we know now that since they're saying our expected CTR is below average, at least we know now we can improve it. If they tell us to improve the landing page experience, they have a whole article about how you can improve on that as well. And you can follow this link and take a look at the article and see how you can improve your landing page experience. They're giving you some guidelines, it's just that it's not consistent, and even if you fixed all these things, there's no guarantee that your quality score is going to display something better. There's no guarantee that anything's going to work. It really is like this black box. And it's really annoying that this black box is there because quality score is supposed to be the opposite of that. Quality score is supposed to be telling you what you can improve so you can improve it. It should be a linear process. If you have a quality score of 7 and they tell you that you're average, if you make it above average, according to these guidelines on this page right here, if you go to that site and you do that, well, guess what should happen? You should have a quality score of 8, 9, or 10. And yes, I get it that they don't make as much money if everybody games the system, but isn't that the point? Why even have a quality score if you don't want us to improve it? If it's mythical that you can't even improve it, if you can't ever get to a 10, or if they don't update it often, or if they bury it because you're not getting enough click-throughs, even though it's your highest click-through keyword, what do you do in that case? I don't know. I'm stumped. This is not one of those ones where I have a definitive conclusion. It's more of a rant than anything. But I will tell you, quality scores are important. But fixating on quality scores puts you too much on Google's schedule. And Google's schedule puts you in a bad position. Because you're waiting for them. And you're waiting to do the good work you should be doing because you're waiting for permission from Google. You need to take control wherever you can. Everywhere in your campaigns, you need to take control you can't wait around forever. You need to do action. You need to improve things. You need to make it better. You need to do all that stuff in order to succeed in AdWords. And if you wait for Google and you're managing it for your clients or for your company, the people who are putting the budget into AdWords are not going to understand that a quality score display wasn't happening. They're not going to care about that stuff. They're going to care about why you wasted money or why things aren't improving, why things aren't getting better. So take control whenever you can. So what do you think about quality score display in AdWords? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have the same frustrations I do? Leave a comment and let us know. I'd love to hear from you. And maybe if we have enough comments, enough people bugging Google, they might finally do something about it and fix it. And that fix might actually stick because you know what? That's the problem. They do all these things, they make it better, and then it goes away. Hopefully with the new interface, they understand that they need to make it better and they need to make it permanent. Leave a comment and let me know what you think.